everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and welcome to Center Stage Live at the Lemon Bar and Cabanda. We're here with John Michael Ferrari. How are you? I'm doing great. Back here in... Kalioka. Kalioka. <laughs> Kalioka. Okay. <laughs> I know. It's nowhere <laughs> USA. No, I'm just kidding. But it's, it's great. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. I'm so excited that you're here. The last time that I saw you, we were at Dark Horse recording. Oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. Which was, it's a beautiful studio. Yeah. It really is. And you had just finished up recording on your new album. So yeah. tell everybody about the new album. Well, uh, it's uh, gone platinum. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, isn't that the hair product we used on it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But but no, you recorded at Larry Baird's Larry Baird Studio, okay. yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if I was pronouncing his name Larry right or not. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, had, we just recorded it and we got back home and we looked at each other. Now what? What do we do now? Right. We got the recording and she's looked at me and says, What do you want to do with it? I said, I don't know. Let's get it out there. So we made a decision mm -hmm. together by herself. She did. <laughs> Pepper J. <laughs> Good old Pepper J. We love her. <laughs> yes, uh, and so we contacted a what is it called? A radio promoter. A radio promoter, or okay. what they call pluggers. Okay. And um, and the story goes. Can I tell the story? Or the whole thing that just a little bit happened. Take a little little story. Okay. okay. Little story. So she contacted them. Can I say their name? Logins promotions. Logins promotions. Okay. <laughs> Love this. So she says, "Yeah, we've got a song here." And they were shocked, like we're the only ones in the, you know, whole country that's got right. a song right, <laughs> ready, right. To, ready for them. They said, "Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> like this song." They said, "Well, we'll tell you if we like it or not." And they said, "Well, we don't. We have a, a, a screening process. We have a that we go through and we listen to songs. We have, mm -hmm. you know, have a roundtable discussion with the, all the people in our company." And she said, "We don't take most. Of the, we don't take a lot of the songs. Right? I mean, we just don't. But send us the song and." And we'll let you know. Okay. So we sent them a song in a matter of three days. Yeah, we sent them a song so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Three days, uh, they contacted us. We were excited. She opened up the email, and she said, we got a rating of four. Okay. And Pepper was devastated. She <laughs> said, oh, my gosh. How could I be that wrong? She said, I mean, I could have got a seven. Right. Maybe an eight. Right. I mean, come on. You could have given me an eight, but a four? Nobody gets a four. <laughs> Except on uh, uh, Americans Got Talent, you get four. Right, right. <laughs> and then she's looking there. She says, "Oh my gosh, there's only four up there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So the first one was uh, uh, no way you're getting it anywhere. Second yeah. one, pretty much the same. Third one, yes, it, it's there, and and you may want to take it to some place else, but it is good. But we're not taking it. Right. Four is you've got you you made it. It's you like, made it. Yeah." It was the <laughs> highest. It, that was the highest. And, uh, but they said, we don't promise anything. I right. mean, we'll, we'll take it. We feel that it's good enough to go at this level, and, and we'll promote it out there. But no guarantee that the radio, right. promo the radio people are even going to listen to it. But we'll get it to them, right. and, and the chances of them playing it, you know, are, you don't know. Right. So they, they're upfront about that. Um, and you've got to pay them. They're not, they're not cheap, yeah. you know. And so, we make it short, in a matter of a few weeks, we started to get on the charts. That I mean, fantastic. I don't know how often that happens. Probably not too often. No, that's fantastic. And you guys found out that your song is also being played in other countries and in Europe. And yeah. that is just fantastic. And what was that moment like for you when you discovered that, I think she said it was number 12 in Belgium? Like, what was that like? Well, we were very calm we, after we started to stop screaming. <laughs> You know, <laughs> can you believe that they're doing that to our song? Right. You know? uh, it, it, it's shocking. I mean, it really, because you know they tell you if you come to Nashville, it's going to take five to ten years before you get anywhere. <laughs> yes. And in a matter of a few weeks, all of a sudden you, your your song's getting played. But here's the thing, you know, we had enough money. They gave us a deal that mm -hmm. they would they would push it, um, but. What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> you had enough money. They gave you. Oh yeah, you. we had enough money, <laughs> so we went shopping. No, we had <laughs> enough money just to get that first, you know, <laughs> first thing out there. Just get it out there. But uh, 
nothing beyond that we said to each other the song has to do it on its own yeah without any big promotion of us because we don't have that kind of money like the record labels right. do and they they said they're not giving us anything other than they're going to push it out there well it ended up they gave us banners on, the, on when you see the, the charts that come out and who's on the charts and all these right. th and i'm up there with all, uh, with all the other people i mean these are named people that mm -hmm. are on the charts and and my name is mixed in there that's fantastic. And, that had to be great. And they gave us a, a couple of banners and mm -hmm. things that showed up on the charts. But the song has been doing it on its own without anything that we've been putting out there. And, and Pepper's done a fantastic thing. She's been contacting people, uh, the DJs all over the world. Yes, which is you have to. When you're self-promoting, yeah. you need to get on it. And I don't think people realize it takes a village to get your song on the radio if you don't know what you're doing. You can do it yourself, yeah. but you got to follow Pepper's lead. So you guys, you guys need to look up Pepper J because she is absolutely amazing, and she will help you. She's got tools out there. So you know, I, I know she just did a video on your page yes. on Facebook on how to get your song on the radio. Yeah, she went through the process of each week where where we landed on the charts, mm -hmm. and uh, there's, I just can't believe it. I mean, there's <laughs> Lady Andabella and and oh, who's some of the other people. Yeah. Everybody, and there's my name mixed in there. I mean, yes. we started off at the bottom. Mm -hmm. When we hit the chart, we were at the bottom, what was 98 it? Out of 100. 98 out of 100, but even to get that. Yeah. And then each week we moved up and up and up. Just and then kept you, climbing. Yeah, and, and then you get, see there's certain levels that you get on, on the radio charts, and then they have the, what they have uh, uh, nationwide mm -hmm. uh, uh, contemporary charts. Mm -hmm. See, my song, our song has gone country and adult contemporary. Oh, see, that's fantastic, especially when you can go into more than one category. Yeah. And can we just talk about the album cover, number one? Okay, you guys, look at my shirt. <laughs> this this goat, his name is Ozzy. That's Ozzy. And he is the cutest goat ever. I, I, I cannot wait to go out to, to uh, Nevada to meet Ozzy because he's amazing. Um, but... It just makes you smile. And what a perfect picture for the album, Be the Smile on Your Face. Like, yeah. that is fantastic. Whose idea was it to put Ozzy on the shirt? It was Pepper's. It was Pepper no took doubt. the picture, <laughs> and she said, we need a picture for the album. And she wanted me to go get cleaned up. We live on a ranch. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get cleaned up. I <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, that's I don't a, That wanna, involves I don't showering and yeah. finding the soap. I don't know where it's at, you know. Yeah. And um, so... <laughs> Uh, I said, well, she said, well, how about this, the goat? Yeah. Well, no, first she said, she's, I said, find something else. I don't want to do it. So she found three very beautiful-looking women for okay. smiling. Yeah. And it would, look, it would have been a very good cover. But I said, I don't know who they are. I have no connection exactly. to them whatsoever. I mean, they are beautiful women. I said, use your goat. Use there Ozzy. You, there you go. Put it on the cover and... and Nobody else would do he, something crazy like Ozzie that. Ozzy was made for this cover, you guys. Look at him. He's so cute. Yes. And, and because this shirt is amazing and brings a lot of smiles, you can actually buy this shirt yourself. You can go onto their, their uh, Facebook page, and I believe they're $20 plus $4 shipping, I think is what they are. And they go small through extra large, I believe. Oh, oh tri triple X. See, look at that. We got you covered. So... You guys will put links up too so that you can find them. But these shirts are available. They're amazing. And I love mine. And I'm so glad you guys brought me one. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And it, it was because if you went with a label, they would never do something like no. that. I mean, no. they wouldn't take those kinds of chances. Well, this has really been a journey for us uh, mm -hmm. coming to Nashville. Uh, when did we first come? Last January. January. Yeah. And we went to the uh, hoops and things that you have to do. You try to play some of the places. And, yep. and then you line up uh, uh, publishing meetings and things. But you know, one of the publishers gave us really good advice. You know, he listened to the songs and he said, you know, they're good songs. But they're not what's out there and they're not what my people are looking for. Right, okay. He says, you know, you, you sung the songs. And I go, yeah. And he said, why don't you just do it as an independent artist? Because that way you may have a chance of breaking through mm -hmm. where other people aren't willing to take right. the chance. A lot of uh, singers won't take that chance. But if you do it, maybe the D, uh, DJs will take that chance. Absolutely. And, and, and they have. Because now fantastic. it's playing, I mean, all over the world. Uh, it, it's amazing, uh, you know, how that's 
happen. Well, <laughs> I love that. Now, are you ready to sing some songs for our fans at home watching? Absolutely not. <laughs> he means yes. <laughs> he means yes. All right, I'm going to get out of the way so that you can perform some songs. Up to you, however many you want to do. But I know that our fans want at least more than one. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not greedy at all. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Are you are you ready? I see you roll of hands of yeah, all those out there. <laughs> How many? Hey, hey get go, put some clothes on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, here's the thing. I've sung. I, I've written a lot of songs, maybe two or three. So I'm gonna do just a few of these. But um, I know what I'm. I'm gonna. I actually surprise you because. I'm going to do something different. All right? I'm going to do a, a medley. I was going to give you a preview of some of the songs that I've written. Don't have to, you know, that way you don't have to sit there and listen through, you know, four minutes of music. It gets repetitive after a while. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, all right, okay. Oh, they've got a swimming pool here? This is really nice. This is right out of Nashville, right out of Nashville. They got rich neighbors and everything. You got to come visit them. Okay. So I wrote a song, and, and it, it got uh, uh, at the Academy Awards. Peace Song, Song of the Year. I was playing. I, I, I performed. I didn't know I was going to get that. Uh, I was playing at the Beverly Hills Hotel at the uh, Oscar, what is it? Oscar tribute party that, that they have that night. And they had me come up and perform this song. And they came on stage with this huge traffic uh, uh, statue and offered, gave it to me as Peace Song of the Year. And I'm not going to do it for you. Yes, I am. I'm going to do it for you. Here we go. Can I get a little reverb? Just a little reverb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's an ocean that loves a potion that heals a man anytime you cry. And it can flow right through you and lift you up and touch the sky. Love can make you happy, oh yeah. Love can heal your pride. So listen, people, what I say. Let's come together and find a way. With harmony, standing hand in hand. Let's come together, let's come together, let's come together like a rock and roll band. That was a little bit of that song. You know, writing songs is very therapeutic. And you never know what the, what's going to come out of you as a writer. So I was actually watching uh, YouTube, and I saw this video of this young girl standing by the jute box crying. And I thought, I wonder what she was crying about. And then uh, this guy walks in, and they're having a conversation. And I wrote a song about that. I see you standing at the jute box Playing our favorite song Swaying slowly to the music As you sing along Brushing back the hair from your face I can see your tears, oh mine. So when I said I didn't love you anymore, baby, I lied. I don't want to love, I don't want to love, I don't want to love nobody but you. makes me feel the way I do I don't want to hold I don't want to hold I don't want to hold nobody 
favor you You're the only one I want to love You're the only one I want to kiss You're the only, only one I want to love Nobody but you That's a short version of it. You, to hear the whole story, you gotta. Uh, you can listen to it on YouTube, all kinds of places. What other places do they have? What is it? Everywhere. Pandora. I turn on Pandora and listen to my songs, and it, it comes on, and we start screaming. I mean, that's the thing about it. And every every artist that you ever talk to, they always have the same story. That first time you're driving down the road, and the song comes on. And you, and you want to like, tell people around you, but you're afraid to say anything because they, they think you're crazy. That's me on the radio. You know? Sure it is, yeah. <laughs> so I was watching another video one time, like, and I was watching Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. They were singing and, and doing a song, and I thought, I want to write a song for Fred Astaire. And I, even though he can't sing it right now, but you know, I thought if Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers were going to do another song and dance, I could see Fred Astaire out on the floor doing something like this. I don't need a reason to love you. Don't need a reason why. I do because I do when it comes to loving you. I don't need a reason why. I don't need a reason to kiss you. Mm -mm. Don't need a reason why. You're my shining star. You are cause you are. And I don't need a reason why. You're more than I could imagine. I love your taste and fashion. You're the dream of dreams. I can't believe it's true. I'm sitting right here. Looking at you, I don't need a reason to love you. Mm -mm. Don't need a reason why. I do, cause I do when it comes to loving you. I don't need a reason why, no. I don't need a reason why. Yeah, I did a little weird thing in there. I gave it a, a, a modulation and a major seventh chord, and then back to number one again. It was like that. See, in Nashville, you're not supposed to do things like that. We were told that. We don't modulate here in uh, Nashville, and stop doing all those major sevenths. But that's my songs has a lot of major sevenths in there. I did something strange the other day, a couple of days ago. I'm not gonna tell you about it, but I'll tell you about this song. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as songwriters, you were told you, you should be able to write a song with three chords or maybe four chords. So I'm going to do a little bit of this song. Four chords, that's it. Th same repetition, four chords over and over again. And this is one of the songs we're going to do in, uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. What's the name of the song? My Heart Can't Breathe. If you want to play along, the chords are E, B. F sharp and A. There'll never be an almost over you, a place to go where the light shines through. The problem was from the very start, I was going to love you with all my heart, but it's too late, too late for me. I'll do my laundry in privacy, but it's too late too late for me my pride won't hurt me cause my heart can't breathe it's too late too late i saw your picture in a photograph i was there when you made me laugh but it's too late too late for me 
You should have warned me of your strategy, but it's too late, too late for me. I'll do my laundry in privacy, but it's too late, too late for me. My pride won't hurt me because my heart can't breathe. Yeah. Was that easy to play along, kids? Yeah, it was like that. Inspiration comes from all over the place. Now, this is a little song I was inspired from uh, my trip to Paris. I got my Paris shoes on. These are my Paris shoes. I don't know if you can see them, but I love my Paris shoes. I've got uh, a couple of pairs of them, you know. I just, the fact that I walked around in Paris in these shoes is just amazing to me. I love these. I try not to wear them on the ranch because, you know, anything you wear on a ranch doesn't last very long. So, I wrote a song. Can I tell you this quick story? Can I tell you? It's only taking an hour. All right. So, Pepper's doing a, a talk at uh, the Eiffel Tower. I mean, it's a pretty impressive place. I, I only got there because she was asked to come to Paris and do a talk there. And uh, so she uh, up there, and, and uh, there were a lot of celebrities, a lot of fashion, high designer people and everything. But this one particular girl, she was there. And I don't know who she was, but she must have been somebody important because she had an entourage of people around her. Wherever she went, she was extremely beautiful. And as uh, the show went on, you know, she would, people would be flashing pictures of her and things like that. And so I saw her walking where I was standing. And as she got closer, she wasn't really looking at me. And uh, she just kind of glanced up and I smiled and I go, hi. And she looked at me. She goes, hello. You know, in, in her little accent. And I, and I said, how are you? And she goes, fine. And you? And I said, I'm fine, you know. And, and she says, you, what do you do? I, I said, I, I write songs. And I said, what do you do? And she kind of looked at me. She says, I'm a dream girl. Dream girl. I said, what's a dream girl? She says, I'm a girl who likes to dream. And I said, oh, very nice. And then she smiled, and she gave me a nice smile. It would twinkle in her eyes. And, uh, and, she, and she said, entendez mon chéri, which means it was nice to meet you. And so I wrote this. I'm just going to give you a little taste of it. This is another song that we're actually going to be uh, performing. Let's see, how's it start off? <laughs> If love were a stranger, it couldn't pass you by Without a look or a gaze, a dream or a sigh And I know why, I know why You're a dream girl, you're a dream girl You're my dream girl, and I know why I know why Entend chez mon chéri And the crown you wear The beauty lights your eyes Is so beyond compare And I know why I know why you're a dream girl You're a dream girl You're my dream girl And I know why I'm out of my mind Out of my mind Ooh, out of my mind Over you, over you You're a dream girl and I know why, I know why. <laughs> you never know where songs are going to come from, you know, just. Uh... So the song I was talking about, I'm doing a little bit, uh, it's uh, uh, getting all this attention. 
And I hope you go uh, play it. It's called So Beautiful. And uh, I was very fortunate. Pepper and I were very fortunate years ago. We met this uh, young girl. She was about eight years old. And I met her on a movie set, and I was asked to read lines with her. And we just hit it off. She was just adorable, just adorable. And she stayed in our lives uh, for many years. She's uh, grown up, gone to college, moved on. She doesn't laugh at my jokes anymore. You know, isn't that amazing? When kids are young, eight or nine years old, see, kids think whatever you say, they laugh. As they become older, like especially in teenagers, they don't laugh as much until they finally say, "That's not even funny." You know, that's what happens. But I, we, uh, she was in our lives, and I, I wrote this about her, just how she affected us in our life. You know. <laughs> You can make the stars shine when there's nothing but the night. You can make a heaven the moment you arrive. I can't measure an ocean or how much rain will fall. Only say you're beautiful beyond anything at all. You're beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. You're beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. Say a little snippet of this song. Isn't this better instead of having to sit there and listen to the whole song? Just a little bit of it. All right. I'm going to do one more song. Uh, it's called In the God of the Vida. Oh, okay. I'm going to do it as a swing, as a waltz. How's that? <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't even know what that is. What's the God of the Vida? Is that a disease? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's like Led Zeppelin. That's Led Zeppelin. You ever open a can of tuna fish and and you get a bad can of tuna fish and it's got it's filled with Led Zeppelin and you break out in boss gags. <laughs> 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 then you get into God of the Vita for a whole week. Yeah, I don't know. It's like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna play the, the, the song from the album. And it's funny because this is the, actually the song uh, 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 called by the album, song of the album, and we haven't even started promoting this one yet, did we? No. But we're going to do it for you right now. And I hope you go there and listen to some of these songs. You know. Okay, it starts off like this. And it keeps going like this until I come in. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment with you lying right here my heart holding you the breath from your side touching my face the words you speak i can almost taste and ooh i want to be the smile on your face you have questions i'm sure I first felt this way The moment you smile And look my way We can build a home A family Have two kids Maybe three And ooh I never thought this could happen to me I wanna, I wanna I wanna love you like this Love you like that build you up bring you back i want a world in your twirl kiss you girl change my world to a better place and ooh i want to be the smile on your face 
All that is yours and all that is mine Together right here for the very first time I wanna, I wanna, I wanna love you like this Love you like that Build you up, bring you back I want a world in your twirl Kiss you girl, change my world to a better place And ooh I wanna be the smile on your face mm, So I modulated, did you notice that? The smile on your face. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. You are so much fun. You are so much fun. Now, is this what fans can expect at your live shows? No. 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 no? Don't no even fun? look forward to it. Don't, don't <laughs> even think about it. Oh my gosh. Are you seriously, though, are you so excited that you're going to be able to start performing live shows again? When's your next one no. coming up? <laughs> Oh my God, I can't, I can't with this guy, you guys. No, you're so much fun, but seriously, you, you have, man, you have such an amazing voice and you have such an amazing fun time on stage <laughs> and watching Pepper, watching Pepper watch you and you watch her is so fun <laughs> for me. And I know that my dad out there in the pool, he was having a good time too. Um, I can barely see him though. You're like so dark down there, dad. But did you have, did you have a lot of fun like performing at your live shows? It's so different than live streams. It is because you know you have an audience, and you guys were my audience. You yes, know? yes, we tried to fill in. Yeah, you guys did great. <laughs> you did the wave and everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were kind of. I have no rhythm, so I really wasn't dancing along. But Pepper was doing really, really great I behind the scenes stuff. Or was that you trying to kill a cockroach? Yeah, that was that was the June bugs. Have you not seen these crazy things flying all around here tonight? Oh my gosh! And if you just stop and listen, you can hear all these tree frogs and the cicadas. Yeah, it's and beautiful out else. here. Yeah, there's so much nature out here, but I love. I love it here, and I'm so glad that you came here. And everybody at home, if you've been enjoying watching this show, at the bottom of the screen you're going to see on the banner, there is a place where you can share some tips with oh John Michael gosh. Ferrari. And he didn't know that we were doing that tonight, so he had no clue that we were going to put his tip jar up there. He was like, I, I, I don't know what you're doing. And I was like, we got you covered. So I if know. you guys feel generous, if you can, tip what you can, please. And be sure to also share this stream with your friends because yeah. – the world needs more happy music and laughter, and you are so full of that. And it's, it's <laughs> see, you're full, full of, of it. Yeah, you're full I'm of it. Full oh, I, I'm no, sorry. I, you know, <laughs> I enjoy doing this. I enjoy performing. And when they come to a show, I, I'm up there for an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, and um, I just talk. I never know what I'm going to say, what the right? stories are. I mean, I have some stories that are the yeah. same, but uh, you just never know. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And you never know what's going to inspire a new fun comment or story yeah. i'm sure <laughs> like i'm sure <laughs> that you've run into some people at your shows or because you're close to vegas and there are so many people that go in and out of vegas all the time i'm sure you have a ton of inspiration and material just coming through there well you know life is is filled with uh, wonderful things you just have to look at it and mm -hmm. and uh, uh just observe observe yes. uh, what's going on and, and sometimes uh, i'm not you know, I don't try to be funny. I just try to be me. You know, just what comes it to my works. mind. You know, because yes. sometimes what happens when, and it, I've done it before, where I think of something funny, and go, oh, this one's going to really work, and I'll say it, and like everybody just looks at me, <laughs> like. So you can't do that. You know, that's the first rule in comedy. <laughs> don't try to be funny. Don't say anything. If you think, oh, this is going to be funny, right. don't say it. You know? See, <laughs> and I am probably the worst person to try anything on because. I leave every joke on the floor almost all the time. Like, I, I, I very rarely pick up on jokes. I picked up on one the other night, but that was a very rare moment for me. I usually don't. And you, though, had me cracking up this entire time. It's pretty, it's pretty great. And honestly, we, we all are, are needing that right now because there's too much drama and negative yeah. and everything yeah. out there. Shut off your TVs, people. Just shut off the news and, and just look for all the good, the fun, the music. Well, there was a time when actually – um, you could go out and have entertainment entertain mm -hmm. you because yeah. you, you didn't have all the cable channels and all those things. I wish we could get back to that because, you know, it would help all the musicians. There's a lot yes. of fine musicians in this town 
that could use the support yes. of people coming out there. And th here's the thing about when I was uh, growing up, uh, there was entertainment at every corner. Right. All the bars. They didn't pay much, but they paid. Yeah. And it was enough to get you by. And mm. that's how you learned your craft over the years. You know? Right. Yeah, I, I definitely think we need more of that. And in Nashville, the entire music industry is hurting so much right now. So you guys, any live streams that you're watching, if you have the ability to tip, even if it's five bucks, just tip what you can, share it all, and be sure to subscribe <laughs> to the YouTube channels because that, that helps artists tremen tremendously. Like yeah. YouTube, it'll pay artists, but you have to have so many subscribers and you have to have so many videos and so much yeah, watch it's time. Really hard. So. Because, you know, any money we get, we, we are actually donated to uh, a, a charity called USS Salvation. It's the name of my new yacht I'm trying to buy. So. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. True <laughs> so, hey, story, true story. True okay. story. Okay. I'll tell you this. Really just, she would pay everyone <laughs> here. So my mom calls me up one time, and, you know, she was getting elderly, and she was very serious. And, and she said, so what are you going to do with your inheritance? You know, and uh, it kind of struck me like, wow, mom. I said, you're, you're kind of blunt with that. I, I, and I thought, you know, I said, but seriously, mom, I, I said, you don't have to worry about anything. One yacht. That's it. One yacht. And she said, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> and you know what? This is real TV, guys, and there's nothing like it. You never know what you're going to get, but it's always going to be great. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Uh, Pepper, come over here. <laughs> tell tell okay, everybody. Okay, go to his Facebook page, John Michael Ferrari, yes. singer-songwriter. Yeah. Okay? I know where that's at because I'm always on that page, and I love it. So follow him there. And if nothing else, you can go to centerstagemag.com. Yes. Enter John Michael Ferrari in the search, and all of his profile will show up for you in one easy spot. And we're going to be in Vegas August, uh, August 22nd. And the Johnny Ferrari, John Michael Ferrari, that guy, and his whole orchestra, all three of nice. us. <laughs> okay, see? More jokes from him. Go to johnmichaelferrari.com for more information, guys. And until next time, we'll see you soon.